Can sleep paralysis kill you? All right, guys. So I thought I'd make this video in response to the number, the growing number of sleep paralysis films, and that is to answer the question: Can sleep paralysis kill you? Can it kill you? Well, <laughs> in a word, no. But I understand where these films are coming from because I don't know if you've seen them. There's a load of movies, especially on Netflix and, and things like that, where it's about sleep paralysis, it's about the idea that something is going to be pressing down on your chest and haunting you and sort of standing above you while you're sleeping. That's sort of the best case scenario and then another thing portrayed by these films is the worst case scenario in which like a demon sort of possesses your body and haunts your house and sort of throws you around the bed and claws your chest and everything like this. Now in a nutshell that is not reality, that doesn't happen. Uh, sleep paralysis is a normal feeling and a an experience that we all have, but we're just only aware of it if we wake up during that sleep paralysis stage. What I mean by that is sleep paralysis happens in between being awake and being asleep. It's where your body paralyzes its own muscles in order to stop you acting out your dreams and potentially injuring yourself. It happens to everyone every night. Unless you have some sort of sleep disorder, this happens to everybody every night. So it's nothing to worry about, it's nothing unusual, and it definitely doesn't mean you're haunted or possessed or cursed as you know some of these films would have you believe so all you need to do is understand that it's natural it's a way of your body helping you to stop injuring yourself because if you didn't have sleep paralysis then what would happen is you would act out your dreams you'd probably kick the bed you'd probably kick your partner you'd f flail all your arms around and you'd I interact with the dreams as if they were real and you'd just injure yourself you know so sleep paralysis is a really good thing it's i'm glad we have sleep paralysis but that being said, it can be scary if you have sleep paralysis and you don't expect it or you don't know how to escape from it. Because in that case, it feels like you are paralysed and it feels like you can't do anything about it. You're sort of trapped in the bed and you'll experience things like the sleep paralysis demon where there's sort of like a... It's more the idea of a presence or the idea that there's somebody in the room watching you. It's less, it's less likely that you're actually going to see something specific, although you can. It's more just like the feeling of somebody being in the room with you. And that just stems from the fear of not being able to move. When you are not able to move, your subconscious mind starts thinking, what if I'm attacked? Like, I'm in a vulnerable state, I can't move. And it starts playing tricks with you. And especially because, as I said, you're in that state between being awake and being asleep, you're going to find it very confusing. And it might seem at times like there is something in the room with you, but as long as you just remember that there isn't, and it is a natural process, sleep paralysis happens to everybody, but the sleep paralysis demon is in your head. It doesn't exist, it's, it's not a real phenomenon. It's an experience that we have, but that experience is in your own head, when you're going between being awake and being asleep. So to answer the original question, no, sleep paralysis cannot kill you. It can scare you, because it is a scary experience to have, but it can't kill you, it can't even harm you. Um, there's a huge amount of horror films coming out these days where they suggest that it can harm you and that there is some sort of demon that will, you know, pin you to the bed with its claws and gouge chunks of your face out or whatever. But it's not the reality. That's not what's going to happen. That's all in your head and most of the time the thing that you do experience in your head is nothing like that. It's just sort of the feeling that somebody is in the room at the worst case. Uh, and, you know, it might also just be the feeling that you can't move or that there's something pressing down on your chest. These are normal feelings and, you know, lots of people experience these. So, it's nothing to worry about. The sleep paralysis demon is okay, it's all in your head. And no, you cannot die from sleep paralysis. Done.